guys welcome back to my channel this is esther thank you guys so much for tuning in to the video today so today i'm doing my first um paycheck for the month of january so um as i explained before my husband and i would get paid um on alternate weeks every other week um we get paid um well he gets paid and i get paid but we get paid on separate weeks so um, on the weeks that he gets paid are opposite from mine. So for example, I got paid on the 30th and he got paid on the 6th, I want to say on the 5th. So, but because of my prior job, I used to do my budget like this on a every other week. It just kind of works easier for me to do it that way instead of trying to split my brain to do it a different way. So this is what I'm bringing you guys today. Um, so this is my paycheck for our paycheck for two weeks um, and just our income and expenses as well as as I split my budget. Um, so today we're going to go over um, my fixed expenses that I have here, variable expenses, um, how much that I'm putting um, into cash envelopes, which I have right here. And this is my cash that I'm going to count. So let's get into it. If you guys have not checked out my uh, January budget video, I'll link it somewhere in the cards so you guys can check it out how I set that up. Again, um, credit goes to Amelia Budgets for the template. Um, she came up with that, so but it just works really well for me. But I still like to do these on paper because it just makes much more sense for me. Um, I do have a um, breakdown of my running bills that I created as well. So um, I'll link that as well so you guys can get access to the template and feel free to use what you need. So what I've done here, I went ahead and I split um, my higher um, expenses into two categories. So this is going to go for the, uh, the days of January 5th until January 18th, 2023. So this first category here is my fixed expenses. So these are expenses that I know that are coming out at a, a certain day and exactly how much they are. And that does not change. Let me try to zoom in a little bit here so you guys could see what we got going. All right. So uh, fixed expenses, I have my tithe. Uh, that's actually not fixed because it's, uh, it's based according to our pay. But again, this is, um, I put it as a fixed expense because I know it comes out um, all the time around this number i normally round it around 330 and then put it down based on our gross pay all right so my mortgage is um 1480 um so i take half of that and i put it um aside so when that other paycheck comes i'm not taking my whole um mortgage um into one paycheck so this is half of that my solar is 200 so i take half of that something I else I take half of and I'm only adding this um it's not actually half but I'm putting a little bit aside for it's my car payment that's 581 that's a lot for us as well but it does come out at the end of the month um so that would be two large bills for us coming out at the end of the month for the car as well as the mortgage so which is why I split it and I'm adding this uh the car today because I do have a little bit more so down here I'll show you guys I uh, my paycheck was a little bit more because I did get some reimbursements from from work. Um, I bought something and they put it back in my paycheck, which should have just went towards my credit card because that's what I paid it with. But this is this works fine. All right, so then I have my Victoria's Secret card coming out for forty dollars, Capital One for thirty five dollars. Um, if you guys watch my January um video, uh, um down here I have some debt paid, which is. A little bit extra 275 that's going to my capital one card this is for my couponing money so i do coupon and that extra money i'm trying to put it towards paying debt and as well as helping us when we're short for the month so um this is probably going to be the last month that you see the capital one on here because um, i'm paying that off um so my phone is 45 dollars um our car insurance is 230 um, we have um, our children's place card that's forty dollars, and this is strictly used to buy the kids um, kids clothing because again, like because the way our budget is, we don't have a lot of wiggle room, so this really helps. But again, this has a high interest rate. But again, this is what's been helping us to buy school clothes for them, uniforms as needed. 
um all right bank of america 72 dollars and this card is also going to be soon to be paid off because it was a card that i um that my husband applied for so that we can um transfer over a large large um portion of our credit cards so we would pay less than interest rate um chase card 40 my other chase card 40 so i put these based on um dates on this side so again you'll see um bills from the 5th to the 18th that's what's coming out here all right so total for all of this um comes out to 1805 um now on to my variable expenses all right, so these are not all variable. Um, daycare for us is not really variable, but I do put it here because that does change from time to time because the kids, they change classrooms, then you get a $5 off or, you know, then my son, for example, goes to a different after school because it's in kindergarten. So we pay a little bit more for him. Um, so I put that under variable expenses. Um, so for gas, it's $280 and that's for the uh, bi-weekly. That's for myself and for my husband. So again, this Bank of America, uh, America Bank of America card, um, this gives me points when I use um, the the card for gas. So every other week, what I do is I put um, here when it goes to the card and when it goes for cash. So typically, when it's going for cash is on the alternative week when it's not due. So. So then on the other week, um, so next week or in the next two weeks when I do this, you'll see it'll say cash because my husband actually uses it for cash, um, he does his gas using um, cash. So grocery budget, we put 200. Um, that's a little tight for us and we're most likely going to go over on this. And if we do, typically we shop at Walmart, we'll put the rest on our Walmart card and then we'll just also um, pay that off. Um, our Haiti envelope for 75 dry clean for 50 um, and this here, um, the dry clean typically goes on one of our credit cards and then we um, put that money back in the bank to pay for it, um, self uh, for 50 miscellaneous for 50 Typically, I don't have anything left for miscellaneous, but because I'm only um, um, focusing on paying the minimum on my cards right now to try to pay off the lowest balance or the lowest interest rate now we have a little bit more so i'm gonna put that aside and miscellaneous sometimes that would be used for housework lawn work um car maintenance um and last year i actually did a, a sinking fund for this um to help me out with this and it just kept things kept breaking down so this year i'm not doing a, a um a sinking fund for it for a, like any other things and i'll show you guys the sinking fund that i had last year um, but I'm not doing that. But whenever I have a little bit here and there, um, I'll add to this miscellaneous envelope and that's what will go in there. So total for this comes out to 845. Um, sorry guys, this, my children in the background, my children are in the background. So if you hear the door slamming, that's, that's them. But Hey, this is one of the reasons again, why I have not been able to do, um, a lot of these because, of background noise and everything but i said lord you gotta help me because um i need to do this um just to also help those who need it and myself to keep me accountable anyway so to, to the total for all of this come out to two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars so that's for the two weeks um all right so the money that i'm going to be taking out in cash are all in green here those are all going to get out in cash and um as you can see here i've already talked about the debt paid um and that that leftover of 80 81 dollars it's gonna remain in the budget again it we most likely are going to be over on grocery so um that's gonna go towards that right there all right so the next segment that i'm going to do right now is i'm gonna go ahead and stuff this cash money so i want to keep it short i don't want to make the video um too long but i'm gonna show you guys um, the different envelopes that I have and um, and we're just going to to put the money in here so the first one we have is daycare and for daycare um, we're taking out $140 so I do have money in here already and I'll explain this um, so I have two kids who goes to daycare where they take cash the other daycare or after school they do take cash but because I just drop him off um, I just call and pay it over the credit card. So at the end of the month, what I do is I take this money, I put it back um, in the money that I'm stuffing um, instead of pulling it out of the bank, but it goes onto my card. 
which is fine with me as well because um I'm able to get points when I use the card. So, which is another thing. I can make a whole nother video about that. So, we'll take 140. So, 20, 40, 60, 80. 120, 40. And then I'm taking out some fives here because um, one of the kids' daycare, I do pay $50. So, I like to have the ones um, there as well. So, I'm actually going to switch this out and put, uh, I'll put four fives in here. So here we go. So when I go, I'm not waiting for a change. I just go and put it out. So if you guys are doing this, let me know how that's going for you. So this is my envelope from last year. I hadn't been using this much. So again, groceries, we used to do it in our cart, but I'm really going to do better about putting this money in the envelope and actually using it. So this was what we had from last time. Oh, and I'm actually going to show you guys part of my expenses which I have not been doing a good job, but I'll show you guys what I'm using anyways to keep that. So we have um, $20 left on here. We're gonna add 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we're adding 200 to our grocery budget. All right, here comes my child, so hold on. All right guys, so the next envelope I have is for gas, so again, we're not putting much in here for gas. Thank you, Poppy. Because um, we're using the card, but next month I'll still add some more for gas. And the leftover money that we have on here on our gas envelope goes towards our insurance, um, our car insurance when it renews for the month. So that's that. We have our Haiti envelope and we're gonna put $75 in here. So 20, 40, 60. Seventy-five. We're just gonna add this in here, and again, we already had a little bit in there, so we're adding seventy-five. All right. So the next envelope I have is uh, for dry cleaning, which we're gonna add fifty. Oops, there was a twenty in here, which is good. So twenty, forty, fifty. Um, one thing I didn't take out was the tide and I like to take it down in big bills. So we'll take it out to, uh, 323. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, uh, one, two, three. All right. And that goes in our envelope. Um, this is $50 for miscellaneous, 20, 40, 50. Well, this goes in here. All right, so typically we'll I will take out only about thirty dollars for vacation, um, because we don't really do a whole lot of going out. But anyways, um, I'm not taking out any um uh, for this time, but um, we'll we'll get back to this one, and then we have for haircuts. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. All right, yeah. So this is the life of having children. All right, so. Um, we have haircuts. We, I haven't been taking any out of this envelope because um, my husband and my son, someone cuts their hair for them. So it actually um, kind of works out fine. So what we have left to take out is $50 for ourselves. So 10, 20, 30. Oh, 10, 20, 40. Huh. All right, well, I'm short 10. I don't know how I'm short 10, but... All right, Poppy, let me finish, okay? So anyways, so yeah, this is gonna go between myself and my husband, and we get to do whatever we want to do with that. Um, and then I'll show you guys quickly what my, my expenses um, look like. Again, sorry guys for the noise. This is mom life, and again, why I have not been able to share part of this like I want to. Um, and only here on this back side that I didn't get to show you guys is how I calculate our gross. Um, okay, how I calculate our gross and also our um, income here. Um, all right, so this is my expense tracking. Again, I have not been really doing a great job tracking it, but I'll try to do better. So like part of the things that I would like to track that I don't track 
and I probably won't be tracking um, until a little bit is our gas because I know um, whatever stays in the envelope is there and whatever I use in the card is there and we'll just transfer the money. So we'll see if I start using that or doing that. Right now, the main thing I'm tracking is for food. Um, and possibly if you have like any other um, like maintenance, like car maintenance, house maintenance, lawn or whatnot, I'll track that kind of stuff here. But these would have been uh, my expenses. And again, this is all for food. So, um, and then there's a few I'll show you guys here that would go back to the card that I had used the card for. So these are like uh, for like, so 1228, this is gonna go back to the card because we use $81. So part of that is gonna go back to the card. Um, $8, that was me getting lunch and we went to McDonald's. I actually had cash on me, so I used that. Um, and then on the second, we went to Walmart and then $80 from that came from a credit, from a, a gift card that I had but that's again from my couponing that I took from $80. Fetch. Here I'm taking out in cash. It was eighty dollars from Fetch that I took out to um, purchase at Walmart, and then I used the rest on the credit card. So prior to that, with Fetch, I used I, I would take out Visa um, cards to purchase at Walgreens. But now they're so expensive. But anyways, I have a video. I'll link it somewhere where you can actually see the tutorial on how to use Fetch, which is changing a whole lot. So just in these last few days. Um, we spent $196, so which means a $200 budget for us is just not going to work. I do um, send snacks um, for the kids at school all the time, so a lot of that takes a lot of our spending as well. And then this is just me starting to track um, part of what um, we're spending. So if it's not in cash or even if it is, I'll just write it down so I know. But if it goes to a credit card... I'll definitely write it so I know to put that back on the credit card. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, thank you for watching and keeping up with me. Um, so hopefully next time I can have a little bit quieter, more space. If you guys did make it this far in the video, just put below hashtag children. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.